Adrian, where did you go? I don't see Donna around either. Are you with her? Oh, I'm heading to the theater to watch a musical with mom today. We're also having dinner after the show. There's this new uh, Italian restaurant we want to try in town. Um, will it be just the two of you? Yes. You don't have time to watch a musical woman. You have to take care of the old fat. You could have at least said something beforehand. What difference will that make? You still have to stay behind and watch the old fat. Will you stop calling him that? It's really rude to call your own father names. But he is an old fat. Why are you and your mother so mean to him? He has always been such a timid, weak man. He is pathetic. He was never dependable like a man should have been for his family. And now the geezer can't do anything of that caretaker. I'm wondering when his time will finally be up. Adrian, how dare you say anything like that? That is so mean. He didn't choose to be like this. It could happen to you too, you know? If anything is at blame here, it's his illness. Why do I defend the guy? Let me guess, you two are now close because you have something in common. That's something being useless. <laughs> you think we're useless? He is a huge burden. And you're not able to give me a child. Wouldn't you agree that a barren wife is simply useless? You've ruined my future plans. For that, I actually am sorry. My mom can't believe we've been married for five years and you're still not pregnant. She says I must have married the wrong woman. The only thing you can do to help your family now is to take care of the old fur. I never said that I didn't want to take care of John, nor have I ever considered him to be a burden. He has been nothing but kind to me. I am happy to take care of him if that is what I need to do. Is it nice you because he is a loner? Because he never had anyone on his side. <laughs> yeah, he's probably excited to finally have a friend who's similar to him. You have no respect for him. He doesn't deserve this kind of treatment. I feel horrible for your father. Why would you? All that money you and your mother use to go to musicals and extravagant restaurant, it belongs to John. Yeah, that's the only thing I like about him. <laughs> But it's not like he earned or worked hard to get any of it. Don't start, Adrian. Why not? You know he just got lucky to be born into a rich family. Besides, he doesn't even know how to use the money right. He used to buy worthless stocks and stupid stuff that doesn't pay. So now, we are using it effectively for him. Effectively? You only wasted on unnecessary clothes and overrated food. And to note, he may be handicapped, but he is totally clear-headed. Can't you imagine how hurt he must be from being mistreated by you two? Like I care. The old fire's dying anyway. He probably doesn't care much either. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We're going on vacation to the Caribbean. We'll leave tomorrow. Oh, to the Caribbeans? That's quite sudden. I've been planning it for a while. Guess I never told you. We're going on a cruise ship for two months. I see. What about your father? It'll just be me and my mom going. You should feel lucky to have you while we're gone. Me? You were leaving us both? Duh! How could I take someone so slow on vacation with me? And if he's staying behind, his caretaker also has to stay behind too, right? So I am being left here as well. I am ashamed of myself for getting my hopes up for a second. You thought you had a chance to join? <laughs> See, we're not evil though. We know we can't leave him all alone in this house without a caretaker. I mean, we must avoid getting accused of if something happens to him. So the two of you could enjoy spending more time together in your losers club. Plus, I don't want to travel with my mom. It'll not be fun with the useless people. What? I'm talking about you and my father, of course. So you two are going to spend all that money on yourselves again. How much does a cruise ship cost anyway? It must be a fortune to be on it for two months. Yeah, it was expensive, but hey, we have a lot of money. <laughs> I haven't traveled much lately, so I've been wanting to do this. I want to show Mom the beautiful beaches. Like I warned you before, it's not your money, it's your father's. You should take him if you're using what belongs to him. What is his now will soon be ours. That's none of your business anyway. We will decide the best way to use our family resources. I'll buy you back some souvenirs if I'm feeling nice enough. You know that John's health hasn't been great lately. How can you leave him and go on vacations freely? Yeah, I'm sure it's just a cold or something. But like I said before, I really don't care. He can die while we are gone. <laughs> That's what he decides to do. I'm sorry, but you and Donna are heartless and very, very selfish. You have a problem with us? I only have problems with you two. 
What did John or I do to deserve this kind of treatment? Do you think you become king or something? Shut up! You will not talk to me like that ever. You're nothing but a housewife. I could kick you out, you know. How are you gonna live if I kick you out of this house, huh? John is going to be furious when he finds out how you're wasting his money again. He won't stay quiet forever. You will someday regret that you ever underestimated him. What could he do with his handicapped body? <laughs> if he has the nerve to do anything, I'll make him pay. I will beat the crap out of him. I bet it'll be super easy to beat someone on a wheelchair. <laughs> you are so nasty, Adrian, really. I am so annoyed at myself for marrying a monster like you. Yo, you're home, right? We're heading back from the airport now. We need to prepare us some food because we're hungry. The food on the cruise was amazing. Ah, but I miss the good old home-cooked meals. Welcome back. I was beginning to wonder if you guys were ever coming home. You definitely didn't want to. And you know what? I just realized I didn't buy anything for you, Sue. Oh, my bad. Totally forgot. <laughs> Where are you now? Oh, we're on the cab. We'll get home in a few minutes. Both of us are starving. Need to make something quick. You could have let me know earlier. I want to have nice and warm soup. And maybe some roast chicken. Oh, and mashed potatoes on the side. The first thing on your mind is what you want to eat for dinner? You don't want to ask how we've been doing after being away for two months. Perhaps ask if John is doing well or not? I don't give a damn about how you two are doing. <laughs> We're exhausted. I'm telling you to start cooking now. We'll be home in no time. You really are a piece of crap. Your dad should have disowned you much sooner. Watch yourself, woman! You think you own the house now or something, just because we've been gone for two months? No, I'm just telling you the truth. Hey, what the hell? Where's my house? Why is everything gone? <laughs> Welcome home to nothing. You pretty much asked for it. You and Donna are paying for what you have done. What the hell are you talking about? What is going on? I warned you that John would be furious. Just tell me what is going on. My mom can barely stand straight from the shock. Did the old fart do this? The house was taken down and the land sold away. Excuse me, what the hell did you do? It wasn't me. Your dad decided on it and did everything himself. By the way, that's not all. He changed every asset he owns into cash, including his car and stocks. Why would he do that? What the hell is wrong with him? Has he finally lost his mind? He did it as soon as you left. He called his real estate agent, his lawyer, his accountant, everyone who could help. You should have seen how fast things can move in a matter of days. I was ready to move out a week after you started your vacation. What the hell are you now? I'm back at my parents for now. Your dad was kind enough to pay for my flight and all. I never gave any permission to do such things. You can't just decide to take down the house. Like I said, your father did, not me. Also, we are getting a divorce. I'm sorry to put this on your plate when you have a lot to worry about, but I'm sure you can handle it. You can't make that decision on your own. Oh, but I did when you left me here with John. He helped me find a good divorce lawyer, you know? Plus, he offered to pay for the fees too. That weak old geezer really did all this to get back at us? He must have gone crazy. I mean, he took his own house down. I can't do this to his own family. You and your mother pulled his trigger, but he said he wanted to do it for me too. That he was ready to beat you up for how you have treated me, but he can't physically, so he's done his style. So that's why he's paying for your lawyer on top of everything else? To punish me? He is ready to testify about how you treated me if it comes down to it. He wants to make sure I win money from you. Oh, and also, he's divorcing your mom. He doesn't want her anymore. He can't just leave her! She is old, how is she gonna live? You tried to kick me out before, didn't you? Isn't it the same thing? I was just threatening you. I was not being serious. Well, like I said, you brought this upon yourselves. You've crossed way too many lines because John never said anything. But you should have realized that he was just being nice to you too. You have woken up the sleeping giant with your arrogance. This is all a joke. He should be thankful that we agreed to live with him. Instead of kicking him out, we took care of him when he became handicapped. He has to be thankful that he got to live in his own house? Honestly... I think it would have been much better for him if he left sooner. At least that way, he could have gotten away from you bullies. Shut up! You don't understand anything. Clearly it's better for old people to stay home. 
The only reason why you didn't send John to an assisted living is because you didn't want to spend money on it. You were too cheap to use money on him. And that's when you realize that you can use me for free to take care of him. I gave a useless baron a role in the house. You piece of crap! Neither of you will get away with this! Wow, you still think you're better than us, although you don't even have a place to go home to. <laughs> How pathetic. No matter what he does, I have the right to keep my peace as his heir! Now tell me what that old fart is! I will take everything away from him. He put himself in a high-end assisted living community, and I don't think he has much left. What? He paid what is worth five years in assisted living up front. It really is expensive, isn't it? He also told me that most of what could be changed to cash is gone. That can't be. Well, it's his money. He can use it any way he pleases. You really can't do anything about it. And what about my share? Too bad. But I don't think there's any. I mean, there's nothing left to give. <laughs> tell me where he is! You think I would tell you so you could go beat him? The facility has been alarmed about you anyway. The guards will follow you to his room if you ever go see him. That son of a bitch! He's only doing what is necessary to protect himself. By the way, you should really consider your attitude. I don't think you fully understand the situation you are in now. Good morning, Kathy. I'm sorry I got a little heated yesterday and said rude things to you. Uh, can we please sit down somewhere and discuss things now that I'm calm? Oh, I don't mind. I'm used to you saying rude things to me, and so is your father. I admit I have been terrible to my dad. Both me and my mother regret the way we have treated you both. Our oh, sincere apologies. Wow, what a change. Do you finally understand? Do you get who has the upper hand now? We do. We have been a bit too selfish about everything. It's so funny how you are trying to be nice. You are so worried after what you will have left after our divisions, aren't you? Because you realize if you pay me anything, you'll be broke. My mom and I have lost everything. I'll have to look after her from now on. Yes, you will. And you will have to do all the working because she can't do anything. You're right. That is why I must save as much money as possible, so... So, what is it? Our division should be 50-50 at most, please. Nope. Why? All this time you spent as much as you wanted however you pleased. Why don't you try to live low-key for once? Kathy, I don't think you understand. We won't be able to get by. My money will be gone in a matter of months. But you have a job, and Donna will have her pension money. Surely you'll be able to get by as long as you don't splurge. No, it won't be enough! How would you expect my mother to suddenly live low-key after all these years? Um, are you still dreaming? You people don't have any other choice. No matter how hard Donna cries, she cannot live the way she has before. She needs to understand that things have changed. But... And that she is also a significant part of the reason why things have changed. And to be clear, you can't live the same way as before either. You should have gotten a higher paying job when you could, Adrian. Too bad you were never serious about your career, because you were too dependent on your father's money. I never imagined my dad would do anything like this. I mean, who would ever? Take down the house? Sell everything? All because he wanted to get back at his own son and wife? He was determined. He said he only had bad memories in that house. But I know, deep down, he was sad to destroy something he originally built for his family. I understand he was mad at us, but he has gone too far. Well, he must be holding a serious grudge. Honestly, I thought he was going a bit overboard too at first, but now, I think you two got what you deserved. I've only lived with you and Donna for five years, but John has been tolerating you too for decades. It's quite scary to piss off someone you assume to be gentle, isn't it? It's quite funny how you got bit in the ass though. <laughs> I wonder who really was the burden after all. Our lawyers handled the meetings towards divorce after that. I was able to prove Adrian mistreating me with the help from John, so I was able to win a significant amount of divisions. Adrian was left with very little money to take care of himself and his mother. He didn't fight for it in the end, under the condition that I refrained from suing him for emotional distress, which I had originally planned. I agreed because I figured I felt that I had gotten enough revenge. By the way, Don and John's divorce was basically the same case. 
with Donna winning very little money from him due to her mistreatment of John. Both John and I were very happy about the outcome. I guess John's payback was not enough to really change the two though, because even after the whole thing, Adrian and Donna couldn't stop living the way they used to. Donna, having no sense of what it means to live low-key, kept spending the same way as before, dining out at expensive restaurants and buying herself unnecessary clothes. Adrian wasn't any better, spending money at the casino in hopes of winning, which of course never happened. They were in debt before they even realized, and Adrian had to borrow money from friends and family to pay it off. He had trouble paying any of his friends back, which left him friendless. Soon after, I returned to my hometown. I began dating an old schoolmate. He helped me gain confidence in myself again, and we got married shortly after. I was very thankful for John for helping me get back on my feet so that I could start a new life. I made sure I visited John at least once a year after my divorce from Adrian. But he quietly passed away five years later, as if he knew that he'd only need to pay the facility for five years' worth. He never told me he was fighting cancer for the last two years of his life. I bet he fought to live exactly five years, so that Adrian couldn't try to get the leftover money back from this facility in case he died earlier. I guess his grudge was just that deep. I still feel bad that he had to go through what I consider as abuse from his own family, but also glad that I was there for him in his final years. He seemed quite satisfied and entertained that he got his payback time. Too bad Adrian and Donna had to learn that it's a better idea not to wake a sleeping giant. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.